The strait between Taiwan and China is one of the world's most dangerous flashpoints, and Penny Wong thinks the Morrison government is playing with fire. Amping up the prospect of war against a superpower is the most dangerous election tactic in Australian history. If China invades the self-ruled island, the question is, how will the United States react? The Defence Minister says if our long-time ally responds with force, then he thinks Australia would do the same. In my judgement, it would be inconceivable under the alliance that Australia wouldn't go uh, to be uh, standing by the side of the United States. Now, I don't think there's anything remarkable in that statement. But that statement does matter because the United States has for years carefully avoided saying what it would do in the event of a conflict. He's wildly, wildly out of step with the strategy long adopted by Australia and our principal ally. China sees Taiwan as part of its territory. It's been issuing increasingly strident warnings to Taipei and is taking aim at Peter Dutton as well, calling his comments absurd and irresponsible. As a senior official of the Australian government, he is obsessed with the Cold War mentality and ideological prejudices. That hasn't stopped the minister ratcheting up his rhetoric, even accusing Labor of crab walking away from the US alliance. You don't deter an adversary and you don't maintain peace in our region from a position of weakness. That prompted further retaliation late in the day, with Penny Wong saying the Defence Minister was lying about Labor's policies. Beijing's campaign of economic coercion had cemented a broad bipartisanship on China. But now, with an election looming, it's falling apart. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Canberra.